I'm here at the Hollywood Boxing Gym with Silvio Simak, martial arts expert and actor from Transporter 3 and Unleashed. Great to meet you, Silvio. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you very much. So that you're here in, from the UK, your first time in LA. Yes, it is. Believe it or not, first time in LA. Despite the, the movies you've done, you've done uh, quite a few movies, but, but none here in LA apparently. I've done 16 films so far, most of which were filmed in all over the world. Different mm -hmm. countries from Thailand, China, India, Bulgaria, Canada, all over the place. So Unleashed, you said it's the biggest worldwide hit that you've Unleashed been in. was the biggest worldwide hit, uh, starring uh, Bob Hoskins, Morgan Freeman, Jet Li. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think clearly because of the cast, it was a huge hit worldwide. Yeah, not bad. So, uh, I'm assuming you were a martial arts guy. I, my, I started martial arts uh, relatively early on, when I was 12 years old. I've been practicing for 24 years now. Hmm. And um, I, I guess the uh, beginning of any success story is, is great desire and passion for, for something. And for me, it was great desire and passion for martial arts to develop as an artist. And growing up in 70s, I guess I got inspired by, by Bruce Lee to take on the martial arts and mm. see how far it takes me. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, him and of course Arnold, you know, a lot of times when people on the fitness side go and want to get into the movies, you hear those two names mentioned a lot. So. Absolutely. They influenced so many people and so many generations that came after them. Uh, in particular, Bruce Lee, because Bruce Lee started off before, I think, Arnie. And uh, they've been great inspiration to many generations, including myself. Now you have an interesting background because you grew up or were born in Croatia, but Italian national, and then moved to the UK, obviously, with your accent. That's uh, right. I was born in Croatia, that's why my surname is Croatian, Simac. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad is Croatian. My first name is Italian, Silvio, from my mum, mm -hmm. who's Italian. At the age of 12, when I took up martial arts, I moved to UK, and ever since I've been there, although I spent some time in France. Oh, 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 wow, wow. Well, so you haven't gotten around <laughs> Europe, definitely. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> um, and, but you studied in England, though, too, right? I studied in England, that's right. And what did you study? Uh, I graduated in business economics degree at Thames Valley University. Uh, that was my major. Well, that can help keep a good head on your shoulder for acting, right? Well, it was one of those <laughs> things uh, largely influenced by my father to uh, be, uh, pursue my academic pursuits and... Uh, get a real job. Get a real job, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So it took, took me a while to convince my dad that this is what I wanted. Uh, but it's nice to have a degree in economics to fall back onto. Sure, sure. And has it, it probably has helped you in some ways with... Uh, I guess it helps me from day-to-day -day basis uh, organizing my finances and managing my time. Uh, apart from that, not, not that much really. I, I understand what they're talking about when I watch the news, but apart from that, it's been helpful in some ways. <laughs> I think you want to be in the act, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> it's more fun, it's more fun. So what did you want, do in Unleashed? Uh, in Unleashed, um, I, I had what they said at the time was the longest uh, fight scene Jet Li had at the time, which was seven and a half minutes long. Wow. So um, I've got a fight scene against Jet Li, which was choreographed by a famous choreographer, Yun Wu Ping. Mm. Yun Wu Ping may not ring a bell, but uh, he choreographed all the action in Matrix 1, 2, and 3. Oh, wow. wow. And he directed Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Mm. So for me, it was a great experience to be learning from two, uh, two absolute legends when it came to uh, action films. I've seen so many of Jet Li's films. What, do you, what was it like working with him? It was great. I mean, it was phenomenal. I think each and every experience are very individual and very different and it have enriched me as a person a lot. He uh, was fun to work with. Uh, I've learned a lot, a lot did, from did him. Did he kick your butt? Or did you kick his butt? <laughs> <laughs> I think in this particular film I kicked his butt because mm. uh, he, he, he plays a character who, uh, who no longer wants to, to uh, play this dog and fight dirty fights for his owner. Hmm. So um, I, I get to kick his butt quite a lot, which was which was fun. Of which course. was fun going back and telling my friends I kicked Jet Li's ass. <laughs> hmm. I have to watch that again, I think. And then also, um, but of course, Transporter Three is something else that you're known for with Jason Statham, who was also Transporter Three was uh, was another production which was uh, a lot of fun to do. Once again, uh, choreographed by a Chinese choreographer Corey Yun hmm. and his uh, Chinese crew and Jason Statham, which was filmed in Paris. It was a French production, oh, oh. Uh, Luc Besson Europa Corporation. Uh, that, that, was a, that was another great, uh, great experience. Maybe, maybe slightly bigger part than in Unleashed, but nevertheless, uh, it was great fun. And what about, now is he very intense or what is he like as a person? Oh, Jason Statham is uh, he's just an amazing person. I mean, I've, I've, I've trained martial arts for 24 years 
and I did not have a clue that he had no previous martial arts experience. Mm. In fact, I said to him, how long have you been training for? He said, I, I don't do martial arts. I'm not from martial arts background, ah, ah. Which, which blew me away. But uh, he, he came... Like, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> He'll turn up on set and pick up the moves just like that without prior rehearsals. So did you help train him? I didn't know. Mm -hmm. He had his own personal trainer with him. So you could definitely kick his butt, though, since he didn't know what he was doing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm gonna, by the time I'm done, I'm going to have Jet Li and Jason. I'm going to get myself in trouble. They're going to be after me. I'm sorry, guys. That's the whole point. You know, <laughs> <laughs> There's no competition. Well, in our final minute here, uh, so what, uh, you've got several other projects uh, coming up. What are, what are you working on? I'm working on uh, TV productions in, in UK. In fact, one of them is um, originally started off in US called The Next Dragon. Hmm. Which is which is a talent search, but based in and around martial arts, looking for the next action star. Oh. I am looking to be executive producer of the same show throughout Europe. Oh. So that's that's something we, we're currently so negotiating. So an American idol for martial artists. That's right. Okay. Well, we'll keep an eye out for it. What's it called again? N the next dragon. The next dragon. All right. That's it. The dragon trainer. Thank you. Thank you, Silvio. Thank you. Pleasure. And as we close, we'll have Silvio demonstrate some moves for us. My martial arts training has evolved from being a martial sport to martial art to martial science. When I say martial science, I'm talking about incorporating principles of modern day to make the systems and disciplines that we practice to make them more effective. Sometimes, or in most sports, we refer to these components as S-factor. Skill, speed, strength, stamina and suppleness. And it's very vital that we work on all these components to make ourselves as athletes more complete. So I do lots of seminars based in and around the S-factor, skill, speed, strength, stamina and suppleness.